All right, what's going on? This is going to be another one of them cool videos. I bought a huge lot of Pentax, Pentax stuff off eBay. Had several things. Everything wasn't listed. There was some stuff. The pictures weren't very good, and there was some stuff kind of hidden. I started to unpack this, and was like, oh, i got to do a, another one of these videos. They're, they're really fun videos to do, so it's kind of like a mystery box full of stuff that I'm going to go through with you right here. So I started to... Uh, started to go through these already but I, I stopped about halfway um, so this is one of the things that that wasn't listed that I got that wasn't listed in the item description and it was just in the background and I knew right off the bat what it was this is a nice macro lens here check that out it's the uh, Pentax dash M f4 macro lens the reuse one of these is really good. The actually the M42 mount one I like a little bit better. The bokeh on it is like really awesome. Let's take a look at it and see if uh, we're all clean here. I didn't look at it. Sorry about my Worcester there on my finger, but check that out. So I spent with shipping and everything 120 bucks on all this stuff. So this lens right here alone probably brings 60 to 80 dollars. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to flip. But some of them I'm going to keep and do a review. I hadn't done a review on this. I'll probably keep this for a little while and do a review on it. It's a, it's a really good lens. Macro lens. Um, <clears throat> all right. And, the, and the, the camera in here, this is the ZX-M. It's worth about $10 at most. Uh, I'll, I'll throw it on eBay. A lot of these are broken. These are all plasticky bodies. But I'll, I'll uh, put a battery in it. The, battery, the batteries cost more than what the camera is worth. But I usually sell these without a battery, but I've got some batteries I just test it with. So, uh, and, and I'll put a link to my eBay store in the description below in case you want to buy any of this stuff. I've always got Pentax stuff on there. Here's just a Pentax lens. This is the basically the kit lens, uh, the autofocus kit lens that would be on one of those uh, cameras from the 90s. It's originally uh, $80. I'll take it out of the box so you can see. It's kind of cool that it's uh, in the box. Got all the papers with it and everything. Check that out. Um, and except it's missing. Well, no, it's not missing it. This happens a lot with these. Some of these lenses, the uh, little dust cover here fell off, but I could get that back on there. Should snap back in there. I'll turn it a little bit, and it will. I don't know, I'll mess with it later. But oh, and it's got a. <laughs> it's got a different rear lens cap on there. But they, these usually. Uh, you could buy for about 15 bucks if you're interested in these. For 15 bucks, any lens for 15 bucks is kind of cool. And this one is an autofocus lens. So if you buy a uh, Pentax camera that doesn't come with a lens and spent all your money on on the body, you can just buy that to get you through for a month or two until you have some money to buy another lens. Here's another lens that came in it, and I uh, did a review on this one recently. Oh no, I hadn't. This one's a different one. This one's cool. I, and I, I, don't, I can't remember the price on these, but this one's pretty stellar here. This one's a 24 millimeter f2.8. It's kind of hard to find. Let's make sure the aperture blades work. Yeah, they're working good. Nice and snappy. Hold up to the light, look through it. Nice and clear. This one I will be doing a review on. I think this is around 100 bucks. We'll see. Got it there on the front. 100 bucks or more, I think is generally what this goes to. I have to, I'll have to comp it and look on the, the sold items on eBay. But I've never, I don't, I've never used this, so I'm, I'll be uh, happy to do a review on this. Um, another plasticky uh, Pentax. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> everything. Oh, somebody like rubbed everything off. You see where they rubbed it off there? So this is probably the same camera. They were ashamed they were using a Pentax. <laughs> I don't know why they would do that. Or maybe they were using it for product pl placement and they couldn't have any logos in the shot. I don't know. But there's another one that's worth $10 or under if it works. Um, and there was a bunch of these. This guy had a bunch of these flashes worse than some of the other ones. First thing with our, these uh, Vivitar 283s, there was three of them in here like he did a studio thing. The, the guy I mentioned in the listing that he... Uh, a few years back, he switched over to digital, and these just been sitting around. But I was like, well, you could use most of these lenses on digital cameras. I'm not sure why he 
maybe he didn't know that or he was just going all in on autofocus. Yeah, this is the first thing I, I uh, took out of the box and I was like, crap, this is going to be a box of crap because look how corroded that is. It's a auto winder. Here's one I'll have to test it out. This is the P1 to test out which one that goes for. That might be worth seeing if it works. And then here's for the Vivitar flashes. Uh, which you probably use for some studio type of setup. Uh, little thing there. Now there's a really special lens in here, so just hold on. I hadn't, I hadn't actually, I saw it in the pictures and I hadn't actually looked at it yet. But this one's a cool lens. I don't think I've done a review on this. I'll probably do a review on this too. This, like I said, 120 bucks for all this shipped. It was like 40 dollars shipping. He didn't really ship it out. Could have probably shipped it out for about 25 dollars. But he used these two large flat rate boxes two separate ones so they were almost twenty dollars a piece to ship ship each box um, but yeah this one's a nice lens if you've never seen this has a built-in uh, lens filter or, or lens hood let's see if it looks clear here yep the glass is clear and aperture works these old Pentax lenses they're just you, you find other brands and they're just they just don't hold up like these old Pentax lenses they've taken the test of time and really stood up and plus the, the image quality coming out of these is is really stellar yeah I'll, I'll do a review on this one so another awesome prime lens and plus plus these pentax lenses are they're kind of lightweight even though they're very well constructed so here's one that's not all that great um, now this one's a different one i was thinking it was it's I've got I just got one of these and I'll be doing a review on it. So now I've got two and I'll be selling both of them. I just took this out this morning and did some test shots with it. The other one I have because I got it in a, a bundle earlier this week. Uh, this is a very odd one, a Pentax 40 to 80 millimeter. That's an odd focal range there. Um, f 2.8 to f 4. So it does have 2.8 at that 40 millimeter. Uh, when I took it out, uh, the other version I have of this out earlier today it uh, it performed really well it was kind of fun to use it's been snowing here you might hear the uh, heater <laughs> going behind me that's because it's getting down to 19 degrees tonight so now this is the this is the lens I was gonna say that isn't all that well good of a lens but it's one of those you could get for about 15 bucks and I have to get my handy dandy uh, handy dandy thing to get the the, the filter off here, but this is a, this is a a, a Tacumar A. It's the uh, 28 to 80 f 3.5 to 4.5. You get this around 15, 20 bucks, and the, this happens to this all the time. It just suffers from that. That's called uh, lens creep. So it will all, all of them will do that. So, and that's a little loose, but for 15 or 20 bucks, you can't complain on this. The image quality on this one's pretty good. I think I might have done a review on that. I'll have to check out my one check back through my channel at some of the archive stuff I've, I've done. That'd be nice. Let's see here. This one is a third party lens. What we got here? Massive filter. Uh, I didn't really look at this one yet. It is the Calimar 28 to 100. Nice focal range there f3.5 to 4.5 and it is got the a and the aperture is working and it is clear clear yeah it's clear glass is clear so this will be one fun i don't think i'll do a review on this but if you want me to do a review on this i will but i'll probably just take it out and shoot with it and just try it out that's the fun thing about buying these big lots you can just test them out Try them. Let's see here. Hadn't unwrapped this one yet. What is this? This is a. Now this is one of the lenses that you could usually get for around twenty dollars. That I do recommend. Uh, I like this lens a lot. I did. I have done a review on this. I think it might have been on a Canon camera, but uh, this one's on. on uh, of course, Pentax mount. But uh, this is an autofocus lens. Is the eighty to two hundred? It's kind of like a kit lens. Um, is f 3.5 to 5.6 the good thing about this is that at 80 millimeters you could flip it over in this macro mode so you get like a one to two that's not like a true 
macro mo mode, but it allows you to get a little bit closer. And this is fairly sharp, especially for that tw uh, $25 price tag that you'll probably find it for used on eBay. So uh, you might want to look out for this one if you're looking for a cheap lens just to play around with, or you're looking for to get into macro photography. You could start out with this and try this out. This is a very good lens. I recommend it. All right. Uh, what else we got here? PK was this extension tubes probably. Yep, some uh, extension tubes. This another great thing for uh, macro photography. You just attach, attach on the red to red there, and it extends it out your lens out. So um, you you could do macro photography with this. So if you had this and then do the macro, you'd be like super close to the, the subject and uh, you get some really cool shots of like uh, bugs and such like that. I'll put that aside for a second. And what else we got in here? Oh, well, see, that, that's this is the weird thing because he said he got in a digital, so maybe he didn't get into Pentax digital, cause, or he did for a second because this was in the box as well. And this is a digital from the digital era. This is a DA kit lens that you, if you shoot Pentax, you'll know this. It's a, it's a decent lens, and you can find it for around $30, $40. If you bought uh, just a body and you're just looking for a cheap lens to get started, that would be that. And it's fine. It's not horrible. It's not all that good either, but... Uh, it's a little soft, but still a decent lens. You can't complain when you get a lens for under forty dollars. <laughs> it's hard to say; it's horrible. All right, what else we got here? Get the scissors out here. It's like another. Is this another two hundred? Oh no, this is zoom. Oh, it's all kind of bent up there. Um, Eighty to two hundred. And I, I might have done a review on this one. I don't know. I could maybe do a review on this if I hadn't. I'm just gonna. Start doing reviews on some of these older lenses. Just waiting for that next Pentax uh, flagship to come out. Now, should I save the best for last? I see it sitting in there. Not this one, but uh, this is a 50 millimeter f 1.7. I'm pretty sure I've done a review on that. Stellar lens. They got the uh, 50 f2 and the 50 f 1.4 and the 1.7. I kind of like the f1.7 um, a little bit better than I do the f1.4, especially on the M, the M1, or I mean the Pentax A. This is the Pentax M. Pentax uh, dash A f1.7 is a, I, I consider a lot better than the f1.4. A little bit sharper. Just uh, I like it better to use. And here we go. We got a teleconverter. This is a times two teleconverter. This one's actually made by Sigma. Nice beefy thing. It's not an A one, but uh, this, this would be for all your manual lenses. If it had the pins in the back, you would be able to uh, put one of those dash A lenses on there and control your aperture right there on your camera. So we got some off camera flash cords. Alright, here it is. I'm hoping that the, this last lens, that there's one more after this, but another uh, teleconverter. This one's by Excess. Their lenses are eh for the teleconverter, but this is a dash A and it looks clean there. Times two teleconverter. You should get one of these. Or not necessarily this brand, but the, just the Dash A. If you want to, if you're looking for that extra reach for your uh, 300 millimeter, you put that on there times two. So at 300 millimeter, it would be 600 millimeter. And if you have it on a crop sensor camera, it would be a, a 900 millimeter. So, um, did I say that right? 900, 600, 900. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Helps if I can do math right now. Okay. Yeah, and that's what that's what kind of he did. He had a 80 to 300 here. This looks like it's Sears. Let's see. Sears, Sears, Sears. Yep. You see that? Uh, oh, no. Sorry if you can't see that, but it says Sears. A lot of times when you see that, I just know because that the way they have multi-coded on there, I always know that's Sears. Now look down here and it always says Korea and it always says Sears. So uh, these old Sears lenses, they're um, actually made by other 
not made by Sears. They contracted somebody else to make them. I think it's probably Takina or somebody like that, or Vivitar, to make these lenses for him because you could find some other Takina lenses and Vivitar lenses that kind of look really, really similar. So I have a feeling that's who they're made by, but um, I think they probably used several different manufacturers back then to make these lenses. And this is the one I've been waiting for. And as soon as, as, soon as I show you this one, you're like going to say, I didn't know this lens existed. I'm going to go go on eBay and try to get this because I, I comped it after I saw it in there because I was like, oh man, it's one of those ones you don't don't see. That. What do you think that is? This is a 70 to 200 f2.8 and the filter is all dirty. Hopefully the lens is okay. Take a look in here and glance through this. Oh yeah, it's nice and clean in there. Make sure the aperture works. On the F32, it's snappy. It even has a tripod collar. Look at that fine piece of glass. I really want to test this thing out. 80 to 200 F2.8. This is manual focus. Takina ATX. Make sure the focus is working great. Yeah. Nice lens. So, you know, shockingly, when I saw this, I was like, how much is that thing worth? I was thinking it probably would sell for around $300, even though it was a manual lens. Um, they've actually got a couple of these on, on there for like around $120 on uh, eBay. So you might want to get on there and get them uh, or wait wait for my review if you want to first just see how this that's odd how, how this uh, lens performs you can got a Tiffin UV filter on there I need to clean that, that up and I'm, I'll usually don't use those it's kind of odd on this one well I'll, I'll talk about more in, in my review so go ahead and subscribe if you hadn't I appreciate you watching these videos they're fun for me to do and uh, all your support helps me to buy more boxes of Pentax stuff on this. I'm happy that this one wasn't a complete waste of time and I'll be able to uh, just looking at reselling all this. Um, $120. I could probably sell it for around $400 and then subtract well, more than $400. I don't know. i probably make about $300 profit after all the fees and, and minus my $120 into it if I sold it all. Just sell it all separately on eBay and and all that stuff but anyway uh yeah go ahead and subscribe i'll have reviews on a lot of these coming up it might i'm um, kind of busy lately i gotta do some traveling for work so um might not be like this week or next but i'll try to get to them thanks for watching